What's up guys, Mike here from Ecom Nice, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about what I've been up to. Uh, just kind of a general update of uh, things that I have planned, things where the shop is going, where I want to take this business that turned into a business out of nowhere. Uh, I just announced the, I'm going to take you along uh, on the folder series tor tutorials, or just kind of pal around with me while I struggle making some folders. Uh, but I'm not going to just do the folders. I've also got a few other things in the works, and I kind of want to explain how I got to this point. Now, rewind this two years ago, almost two years. I started in August of 2014, I believe. So coming up on two years. I started doing this as a hobby, right? That's when I made my first knife. But I was interested in knives way before that, but that doesn't count. I made my first knife two years ago. And uh, I just thought to myself, I'll never make this a business. I just want to make this a hobby. And that's it, right? I, I, if it's a hobby that I can make something cool and give it to my friend or my family or whatever for holidays, birthdays, whatever, then great. You know, I'm all for it. But it started evolving, right? I didn't even do YouTube back then. And I started doing YouTube, I started doing Instagram, and nobody knew who I was, and a lot of people still don't, but nobody. I had zero following. I would put videos up and nobody would watch them. I would put pictures up on Instagram and nobody would like them. Nobody even knew I existed. Right? But, eh, let's put it out there. Why not? I'm not a huge social media guy, or I wasn't. So I put it out there, and I see the interest, right? And this started... I started getting a little bit of a following and I started getting a lot of encouragement from those guys following me and and still to this day it's the, the encouragement the following and everything's been growing exponentially so two years and I'm still kinda putzing around in here doing whatever I want I'm gonna keep it a hobby and that's that and I keep saying in 2016 I'm gonna take this serious and that's because I've noticed this is turning into a business whether I like it or not. Right? And so I said I'd never go full time and now it's all I can think about how, how bad I want to go full time and it's gonna be a, a long ways out but now I want to. Right? I'm making stuff and people want to buy it. Right? So this kinda of turned into a business by accident. But I'm not gonna turn down opportunity and run away from it. I'm gonna grab it and run with it. Right? So it started out with, now I have to take this serious, I have to be honest with myself, uh, evaluate myself and see where I stand. Right? Uh, uh, what needs to be improved, where am I lacking, how could I get stuff to market, which is a terrible problem of mine, because right on that wall behind me, there's about four or five knives finished, ready to go. There's a chef knife right behind you, a folder right behind you, ready to go. But I have OCD with that stuff, and uh, because I'm the maker of it, I can see every little detail. I can see every little flaw that most people would never notice, and I say, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. I can make it better. Right? So, a lot of times, I'd rather take something and take this and stop or, or throw it in the garbage because it's not good enough for me. But I have to be okay with that because there is a market for uh, my level of handmade knives. Right, so I've seen guys that sell stuff and sell a ton of stuff that are worse than me, and sell it to the guys that sell a ton of stuff that are perfect. Right, I look at it and see it's perfect, but I bet you that maker looks at it and he can see every flaw too. I have to get past that. That's a personality trait of mine that keeps me back. I also have to stop putzing around, so I started carrying around this notebook, and every day I'm on vacation for my real job this week. And I've been coming in here about 12 hours every day, and I love every second of it. I, I woke up 6 o'clock in the morning yesterday to edit video, got in here by 8 o'clock, 8.30, and I worked till about 8 or 9 at night in the shop. And then I went in and I came out here and I'm doing it again today, and I love it. Instead of coming out here and just putzing around and just, oh, well, I, I could do this, or I work on half of that or half of that. Now I write down my goals of what I want to accomplish for the day. Uh, so for example, today I have one more bar of steel, it's a surface grind that bar of steel, shoot a YouTube video, uh, put two pictures on Instagram uh, because I want to grow that following as well. 
uh, layout templates for the thick steel, so I got thicker steel now, it's 3 16th thick, but a lot of people like this stuff, so I'll give you an idea. Here's the Tanto, that's uh, 1 8th of an inch thick, there's 3 16th next to it, quite a difference. But people have been re requesting that, so can't ignore it. Uh, so I'm going to cut out some Tantos on all this thick stock I have laying around. And my goal by the end of the week is to get a batch out to heat treat. I have a dozen folders and hopefully about a, a dozen fixed blades to send out to heat treat. Yeah, and yeah, my last uh, my last thing is cut and profile everything. So that's my my to do list for today. And I noticed that even though I only give myself five things, if I finish it by two o'clock, then it gives me time. I, I finish the list and then I have all the time for I have the rest of the day to do whatever I want. If it's to go do something else, to go research something online, or shoot a YouTube video, or whatever, right? I had to change the oil on my car yesterday, and I kept telling myself I have no time, but I got my five things done. I felt like I, uh, I was productive enough for the day that I could say, all right, I could take an hour and go change the oil on my car, right? Because uh, that's another expense I don't need. You've got to take care of what you have. So that's pretty much it guys, I mean I really want to take this serious, uh, get over some of my personality flaws, address some of the issues I have as far as productivity, and I made the video about this, uh, what holds me back in knife making. This is me addressing those things, and getting stuff done, and taking it to the next level. And hopefully, I take all you guys with me. That's it for this one guys, this is Mike here from Ecom Knives, and I'll catch you on the next video. Oh, if you're still with me, that reminds me, uh, Ecom might go away, because if I'm going to take this serious, I want to get a company name, now Ecom is Mike Backwards, as most of you know, I want to get a company name that I'm proud to put on a t-shirt and say, I make this, right, I'm so-and-so knives, or so-and-so blades, or whatever it is. So I've been tossing around a few ideas, I haven't come up with any yet, I'm going to keep the Diablo logo. Uh, but, Ecom Knives might be going away, and it might be time for a rebrand. Of course, after I did all that work to build up that name. Here we go again, guys. Alright, Mike here from Ecom Knives for now, and I'll catch you later.